If you want to set up a hosting or email with your GoDaddy domain, then you're in the right place because in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Now, just before we dive in, make sure you have your GoDaddy login details ready and handy as you'll need to access your GoDaddy DNS settings or in other words, domain name system settings to point them to Hostinger's email servers. So if you got that down, let's get started with your email. All right, so first to create a custom email using your own domain, you'll need an email hosting plan or a website hosting plan, which includes a free email. If you don't have a plan yet, you can get one using the first link right in the description. So I will do the plan choosing with you. Okay, so just choose the plan that suits your needs and use our code HA10 to get an extra 10% off of your purchase. And also you can check out this video if you want a more detailed explanation on getting started. Anyway, once you get your plan and start the setup, make sure that you select use an existing domain during the setup process since your domain is from another provider. Then you must enter your GoDaddy domain choose the email address and set up a password for your email account. Once that's done, you can skip the remaining steps and just simply return to your Hostinger dashboard. All right, guys, the next thing you need to do is gather Hostinger's email DNS records such as MX and TXT. To find these, go to the email section, select your domain and click on manage, then click on connect domain to view the required MX records that is. For TXT and CNAME records, click the protect your reputation and increase email deliverability tabs. To make it a lot easier for you, I'll link an article in the description where you can find a list of all of these records. So, I mean, it will be much easier to find them. Anyway, either way, we'll need these for the upcoming steps, so just keep them handy for now. And now let's open up a new tab. In the new tab, open GoDaddy and log into your account. Then just select all products on the left and proceed with domains. Look for the domain that you registered on Hostinger and click right on it. Once you're in your domain settings, click on the DNS section at the top right, right over here. Okay, now we just need to update the DNS settings to connect them to Hostinger servers. We'll start with the MX records. First, delete any existing MX records and add a new record section by clicking add more records. Then switch to the Hostinger tab where the MX records are listed and copy them over to GoDaddy. So for the name, just leave it as the add symbol and next add the priority number. You'll find this number in the Hostinger tab, which should be five for the first record. Then just copy the value and paste it right here. Make sure to match the correct value with its priority. So mx1.hostinger.com goes with priority five. Just really don't mix them up. We don't want that trouble. And as for the TTL records, you can leave them as they are. After that, just click add another value and add the other row of records and then hit save. Okay, moving on, we'll continue with the TXT records. So click on add more records and select the TXT type. Then in your hosting account, go to the protect your reputation tab to find the TXT or SPF records. Copy all of the information you see there into the DNS settings in your GoDaddy account. You can also find this information in this article that I mentioned before by looking for the SPF records. Once again, leave the TTL as it is, then save the changes and select add more records to continue. So what's left is just adding the CNAME or DKIM records. You can find them in your hosting account or in the article I mentioned before many times. Anyway, the process is the same as before. Select the type CNAME, then copy and paste the name and value. It's really important to add all three CNAME records for email security, so click add more records for each one. Once you've added all of them, make sure to save your changes and well, you're all done. However, keep in mind that DNS changes can take anywhere from a few hours up to 24 hours to fully propagate. And to verify if the changes have been applied, you can use a DNS propagation tool like DNS Checker or MXT Toolbox. Simply enter your domain name to check if the records have been updated or not updated yet. Also a heads up for you guys, while well, you might be able to send emails within 30 minutes after the changes, they could end up in the spam folder if the SPF or DKIM records haven't fully propagated. And additionally, if the MX record propagation isn't complete, you may not receive any emails at all. That's why it's best to wait a few hours and then check your domain using the tools I've mentioned prior. And once you confirm that all the changes are complete, the final step is to test your email to make sure it's actually working. So 
I'm gonna test it with you guys. In your Hostinger account, navigate to email accounts and click on webmail next to your email address. Or you can simply go to mail.hostinger.com by typing Hostinger webmail in Google or just using this link. Then log into your Hostinger email account by entering your email address and password. And send a test email to check if everything is set up correctly. So just as an example, I'll send a test email to my own address. And right here, you can see that I successfully received the email I just sent, so everything is working just fine. Well, now that your professional email is all set up and running, you can easily connect it to other apps like Outlook or Apple Mail. And if you want to know how to do that, just check out these videos for a quick guide. And if you found this video helpful at all, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more useful tips. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.